It's good to see you again. Hope all is well. Today we'll speak about St. Isidore the Farmer. Born in Spain about a thousand years ago, Isidore worked all his life on a farm of a wealthy landowner. His life and labor were shared by his loving wife, also a saint, Maria de la Cabeza. Both Isidore and Maria were humble, simple people, noted for their love of animals and above all, love of nature, as they saw animals and nature and all creation as a great gift of God. And the world of faith became very real to both of them. And many stories of miracles circulated about him, obviously many fictitious, but all having a lesson. Here's one of them. On a snowy winter's day, this man was carrying a sack of corn to, to be ground, and he saw a number of birds perched shivering on tree on bare tree branches, obviously unable to, to eat because of the hard ground. Isidore opened his sack and poured out half the corn on the ground for the birds to eat, to the ridicule of his companions. But when he arrived at the mill, he found the sack was still full. And moreover, when the corn was ground, it produced double the amount of flour that it usually did. Isor is famous for his love of work. Saw, saw in the work he was doing that he was an agent of God, carrying on God's command to fill the earth and subdue it. And Vatican Council II talks about human labor. Quote, human work proceeds from the human person who, as it were, impresses his seal on the things of nature. By his work, a man ordinarily provides for himself and his family, is social with others, and renders all service. Isidore was totally unselfish. He saw the hand of God everywhere. He was a loving and compassionate human being. He was canonized in 1622, and he shows us the dignity of all human labor. May God bless you and keep you, and I will see you tomorrow.